Hey, Vinyl community, hope you are all doing well. So yesterday I um, had an opportunity present itself uh, to do a little record shopping. My wife came to me yesterday and she said, tonight is parent-teacher conferences and our kids go to different schools, apparently. I did not know that. She said, since I can't be two places at the same time, I need you to go to Gavin's school, who's my older child. I need you to go to his parent-teacher conference while I go to James's parent-teacher conference at a different school. So I'm like, fantastic. Um, so, of course, this was an opportunity to go record shopping. Um, I'm sure Gavin is doing well in school. He's a bright, intelligent kid. So instead of going to the parent-teacher conference, I, of course, went record shopping. I'll show you uh, in a little bit what I picked up. What I did not expect was that I was going to be getting the third degree when I got home. So how was the conference? Um, great. Um, what did you talk about? Uh, his grades. And how are his grades? They are good. And then immediately, uh, what was the teacher's name? Mrs. Smith. Well, it turns out it's not Mrs. Smith at all. It's Mrs. Cunningham. Didn't know that. Um, and then it all went downhill from there. Um, what grade is he in? Second. He's in third grade. Didn't know that. But so my ruse blew up in my face and I had to admit that I went record shopping. So I slept again in the garage last night, but did pick up some very cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. Well, not very cool stuff. Considering the price I had to pay to pick this up, I really would have preferred to have gotten some vinyl. Um, went to Street Corner Records, picked some stuff up. But, you know, it's just CDs and cassettes. But, I don't know. It's still worth sleeping in the garage over, I guess. If you can be the judge when you see what I picked up. So, the first thing that I got was uh, Fleetwood Mac's Bear Trees. Um, this is on Warner Brother Records, which is very cool. I had this as part of like a multiple CD set that you get. There's like five CDs in there, but they come in like the real thin paper sleeves and there's no liner notes or anything like that. So whenever I can, if I can find these out in the wild, I will definitely pick them up. Next one I got is Kiln House. And I know you're thinking, Jeff, didn't you just do a video yesterday where Fleetwood Mac's debut album was Fleetwood I know, whatever. Uh, Kiln House. Also, uh, this one is on Reprise Records. As is this one. I apologize. It's distributed by uh, Warner Brothers Records. That's what threw me off a little bit. But uh, Kiln House here. which I'd never seen out in the wild before. That's the first time I'd actually seen either of those. Um, got John Lennon's Plastic Ono Band. Now, I had the remastered version of this, but I wanted to pick up the original just because that's how I do. I like getting the original copies of the CDs um, just to have as part of the collection, just something else to collect. Then I found Still Cruising by the Beach Boys which is kind of a hybrid of some of their classic tracks, like I Get Around, Would It Be Nice, California Girls, with some soundtrack stuff. I'm um, still cruising from Lethal Weapon 2 soundtrack, that great, fabulous movie. Um, Kokomo, Don't Roll Your Eyes. Wipe Out with the Fat Boys, Don't Roll Your Eyes. Um, Make It Big from Troop Beverly Hills. Stop Rolling Your Eyes. And, um, you know, In My Car, which is another, I don't know why they picked In My Car, well, I guess because of the car song, but the Beach Boys have better car songs, whatever, it is what it is. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is that there was writing on the actual CD itself, but maybe an alcohol pad might be able to rub some of that off, I don't know. Um, 
OMD, I'm a big orchestral maneuvers in the dark fan. This is their Peel Sessions from 1979-1983. I had no idea this even existed. I love the Peel Sessions. It's almost like the B well, it is practically the BBC. Uh, I love BBC uh, recordings. And then a couple of cassettes, and these are pretty rare. Um, actually, I have never seen these. Uh, I mean, I've seen them, but not in like 20 years. This is live at the Star Club from 1962, Volume 1. And then live at the Star Club from 1962, Volume 2. So, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I got to go repair my marriage right now. Um, but just wanted to show you what I did pick up. And I uh, plan to do a little bit more record shopping uh, this weekend if I can somehow figure a way to get out of the house. But everybody take care and have a great day.